like meatloaf. Everybody loves meatloaf. Oh my gosh, it's one of the greatest things. It's cold, it's cloudy out, you come home, meatloaf. Wonderful. It's like a great big fancy hamburger filled with stuff in a loaf. So today, I'm going to use the meatloaf recipe that is recommended by the Chef IQ Smart Thermometer. I got the Chef IQ Smart Thermometer for Christmas and I've used it twice and I love it. I made a prime rib roast, perfect. I made pork shoulder, perfect. I didn't have to worry about whether or not it was overdone or underdone. It told me everything. It walked me through the steps. It spoke to me. There's an app. I put it on my phone. It let me know when I needed to go check on it. It was fabulous. And you know what? I think that this or something similar to it. I know that there are other brands out there like Meter and stuff like that would make a fabulous gift because you know what? I am one of those apologetic cooks. Honestly, every time I make something, I serve it and I'm like, oh my God, is it okay? Is it overdone? Is it underdone? And I don't have to worry about that anymore. It is awesome. And you know what's even better when you're making any kind of a poultry because you always take it out and someone always has to come in and go, are you sure this is done? Is that a little pink? How frustrating is that? Yeah. You know, and you'll sit there and you'll go onto the internet and you'll ask it, okay, time and temp for this. And they always tell you, and then you always follow the directions and you take it out and then you question it. It's very frustrating. I personally, after having used this twice, think it would be a fabulous gift, especially for young folks, those kids that are moving out, they're going into the wilderness on their own, they're gonna to wanna to start making meals for their friends and their families and stuff like that. You know, and although I am a big proponent of trial by fire, live and learn, and tough love, you know what? Giving your friends food poisoning, maybe that's not the trial by fire they need. So what is wrong? with giving someone good tools to make a fabulous meal, let their first meal be amazing, give them the confidence. You know, you don't want their first experience making a nice roasted chicken dinner to be, eh, remember the time we went to the hospital, right? So yeah, after using this a couple times, I highly recommend it, but today, I'm gonna use one of their recipes because they have a whole slew of recipes in there. Some are their recipes. Some, it looks like, have been contributed by others. So that is what we are going to do today. Now, I am not an affiliate with Chef IQ. I don't get any money from them. They are not asking me to promote this. They also make, like, I think a smart cooker or something like that. Now, if they see this and they want to send me, an extra probe or a smart cooker to try out, I'm not going to turn them down. But as of this recording, none of that is happening, okay? So it's just me and this and you guys. Let's get started. Our Wi-Fi is on. I've already paired it with my phone. So let's go. First, hold the button down to turn it on. our app, go to recipes, classic meatloaf, smart thermometer, classic meatloaf, an hour and a half. All right, start guided cooking. Chef IQ's recipe for classic meatloaf will give you four servings because you're only using one pound of meat. If you have a bigger family, use two. For my 80-20 ground beef, I'm going to use this one pound package of hamburgers that I get from Agrodyme. I am an Agrodyme affiliate, so if you do use the link below, you should get 10% off your order. I like to use them. They are budget friendly for me, and my family likes grass-fed, grass-finished beef. They have grass-fed grain-finished beef. They have all green beef, chicken, all kinds of stuff. So check them out if you like. I like them or don't, that's up to you. Okay, so remember to read your instructions ahead of time. In this case, they want us to make our glaze first. So that is what I'm going to do. The rest of this is basically straightforward. You put all your ingredients into your meat, you use your hands, preferably you wash them first, take those rings off, don't forget. 
and get in there real good, mix it all up, and then we are going to transfer this into a loaf pan. I will say that if you are using this app and you go to the instructions, it's going to give you videos and they might go too fast for you. You might be trying to read and maybe you can't catch up, but you can pause it. So that's a good thing. And when you do pause it, the instructions still stay on the page. So if you prefer to read and not just follow the lady or whoever really, really quickly, then you have that option. it's time for you to preheat your oven. After you're done with all of your instructions, you've watched your video or you've chosen to read, it'll say next, select a probe. So currently I want to select probe one, but it says that it's disconnected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button. There you go. I hit next. The video then continues. Step six, Insert the probe at an angle. Push it to the top of the meatloaf until the thinner portion is no longer visible and the tip is at the center of the loaf. So basically, take your probe and we're going to put it into our meatloaf. Once you've done that, hit next. Step seven. Transfer meatloaf to preheated oven and cook. We'll let you know when it's ready to come out of the oven, and it will. If you tap right here, it'll show you the temperature of your food, the internal temperature. It'll tell you your target temperature, which is 165 degrees, and the ambient temperature, which, this, which is the temperature of the inside of your oven. When your meat gets up to 165 degrees, this is going to tell you that it's ready. Make sure you leave the box in the vicinity of your oven. Don't leave it on top or anywhere else where it's going to get really, really warm. Just leave it in the vicinity so that the thermometer and the box can communicate with each other. After you take it out of the oven, it, you hit next and it tells you to let this rest for five minutes. When our five minutes is up, I will come back. And we'll see how this turned out. Sent like a little alarm out, okay, after the five minutes. So I ran over here when I heard it, and it told me step 10, carefully remove the probe. Now this is going to be hot because it was in your oven. So use oven mitts or a towel or something. Actually, I'm gonna use my cute little dollar store one that I got. There we go. Step 11, remove meatloaf from loaf pan. If desired, slice and serve. I guess that's what we'll do next. Not too shabby. Now for the taste test. Now, this is my first meal of the day. It's already 1.15 in the afternoon. So I am a bit famished and I may enjoy this more than I should, but we're gonna see. It's meatloaf. The glaze is very good. A bit sweet for some. It didn't fall apart. It's perfectly done inside. There's no pink at all, I can tell you that. But I feel like it can use a little something, something. But you know, that's okay. The problem is my meatloaf always seems to fall apart. It never seems to stay together and I can never figure out why. So I think that if you add a little seasoning to this, to your taste, because every family has its own meatloaf recipe, that using this thermometer really, really works. And I think that this is a success. This is the third time I've used it and this is the third time that my food has come out perfectly. Definitely five stars.